Hello and welcome to this channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about Firebase security rules. So when you have your database in Firebase, there are some rules that you can specify based on which the database and Firebase is going to allow the users to read or write the database. And if you have created the database before, and after a while you didn't change the security rules the connection is going to be disabled you will receive an email about it so the security rules in the firebase they can be based on who can read the data who can write the data and how your data is structured and what are the indexes that are available in your database and the rules are always enforced at all times so when you request a query and if you have read and write request to the firebase before the query is executed it's going to be checked against these rules and if they are not against the rules then they are allowed to run and the language of the of these rules are based on JavaScript like syntax we're going to see examples of these security rules so we have four types of security rules that we can specify one is dot read you can specify who can read the data and specify if it is allowed to read the data by users and dot write it describes if and when the data is allowed to be written dot validate it defines what a correctly formatted value will look like whether it has child attributes and the data type and then we have dot index on it specifies which child to index when you have ordering in your query so the security rules you can use it to authenticate which is identifying your users based on the authentication section in the firebase for example if the users logged in using email and password or they used their google or facebook account to log into your application and different users they have different data and roles some users they have higher roles in your application so they should not have access to each other's data you can enforce these rules based on the authentication of the users and we have authorization a way to control users access level which user can access which data here we have an example of security rules so in this example we have rules and then inside rules we have foo this is an example of the level in your firebase database if you have for example users and then you have another child underneath the user or you have products or you have another child underneath the product you can specify that here and then for this child in your database you can specify dot read and dot write in this example dot read is true so everyone can read the data but dot write is false so nobody can write the data and read and write rules they cascade in the example that we mentioned here foo the rule that we specify is going to be granted for any read access to any data at, at the path of foo as well as deeper paths for example underneath the foo you have bar and you have buzz so this read access rule is going to be cascaded after the foo to its children as well and read and write rules shallower in the database override the deeper rules you can also refer to the path server side timestamp and authentication here we have an example of 
a rule that grants right access for authenticated users to users UID. In these rules, you have the users. So you are going to specify the users. And inside the users, you are going to specify UID. One particular user. So instead of UID, you need to replace it with Firebase authentication of that user. And then you give the rules that write UID equals to auth.uid. So if the user ID equals to the authentication user ID, then this rules is going to be enforced. You can also apply validation logic to your data. We mentioned that we have four types of rules, dot read, dot write, and then dot validate. So in this example, we have dot validate, new data dot is string, and new data dot val dot length. So if the data is string and the length is less than 100, is going to be accepted for a write operation in the database. So like this, you can enforce validation logic to your data as well. And the last type of rules we mentioned indexes. You can define indexes for your database. So let's imagine that in your app, you need to order the dinosaurs by name, height, and length but not by weight. So you can improve the performance of the queries by telling the Firebase this information and you can include this in your security rules. So in the rules, we have dinosaurs and dot index on height and length. So based on this, you can enforce the index in your database. We have more examples here. In this example, there is no security on your database. And dot .read and dot .write, they are true for all users. So this is the most basic rule with no security. And on the other side of the spectrum, you have full security, where the read and write, they are both false. So nobody can read and write to and from the database. Or you can give access to authenticated users. So the read and write, you can specify auth not null. If the users are authenticated, this one is based on Firebase authentication. And then they are able to read and write and access the database. If you want to prevent deletion and update, you have this rule. For example, in the rules and in the posts, if we have posts in our database, we can specify a user. And for this user, we can have the right access and we can prevent the deletion and update using this code data that exists. Using this rule, the deletion up and updation is prevented for that particular user. I will put a link in this video description to more examples on the security rules in the Firebase database. Because it is important to control who accesses the database. And in your application, you don't want anyone to access your database. So this is very important. I will link to some of the resources about these security rules in Firebase in the video description. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.